In this demonstration, I'm using the Sketcher Set palette by Greenleaf and Blueberry, their artisanal hand mold paints. And I'm working from an image of Cutthroat Pass from the North Cascades Mountains in Washington State. After lightly sketching everything in, I began to work top to bottom and background to foreground, filling in the biggest shapes possible. And the handmade paints have a different quality than some of the um, other synthetics. There's an organic feeling to them, the granulation that shows up at their highest concentration, they can be nearly opaque, and I really enjoy discovering the, the different elements of these pigments. They're a lot of fun. So here I am filling in the last of the larger shapes, and then the next step is starting to work on shadows. Now before doing a second layer, I do allow things to dry. Might use a hair dryer or just set things aside for a minute. And after that first layer then, I'm working on shadows and texture. I find the shadows begin to add dimension, uh, really that sense of 3D. Here's building out the mountains and now working on these fun little trees. Mixing greens, I, I love working with a variety of greens from springier yellow greens to some deeper near black ones for these trees. And I'm using the Rosemary R13 brush, which has this exquisite point to really lift up these uh, trees. I, I do a center line first and dance my brush on either side of the trees to articulate their, their forms. Finally, I look for any little extra darks or textures to add to, to bring together these final elements. And uh, just when I thought I was done, I realized I wanted a little extra yellow just to bring out some sparkle, which I added to the, the sun side of the mountain and the foreground. So I hope you enjoy this palette and this subject and happy painting. Keep in touch with any questions.